Sometimes it's fun to watch someone's life spiral out of control, and it's even better when that person is Arrested Development's David Cross. You know, sometimes your decisions just land you in the facility of North Korea's nuclear weapons. I'm not so sure this is a good idea, guys. It is highly likely North Korea has conducted a nuclear test. Wait a moment, I thought this was supposed to be a fiction. David Cross. Oh, you should see the other guy. It was a lady, she's fine. Is Todd Margaret. Firstly, I should mention that this show is not for everyone. It's set almost entirely in England and as such features dry British wit at its core. That is an acquired taste and humor is subjective, so there you go, warning in advance. Now let's get on to the recommendation. How would you like to go to London and head up a satellite office there? Sell energy drinks to the UK. You familiar with the UK market, with their culture, stuff oh, like that? Me? Me. Actually, my dad is from Leeds, uh, which is in England, so I would spend summers there. That's not true. Great. So so maybe your dad can help us out with uh, me? Well, he's dead, so that won't happen. When did he pass away? A week ago. The increasingly poor decisions of Todd Margaret focuses on an incompetent American office worker as he bumbles his way into a job in the United Kingdom where he has to promote a new energy drink. The show is produced by IFC and aired its first two seasons in 2010 and 2012 with the third season airing right now on IFC. Joining Cross is fellow Arrested Development alum Will Arnett as Todd's boss, Irish beauty Sharon Horgan as the love interest who's anything but, and star of the in-betweeners Blake Harrison as Todd's underling. You thinking about banging me? No! Alice, no. God, no, 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 no. Why, what, what's wrong with me? Nothing. Oh my God, Alice, nothing's wrong. No, no, you're, I, I would happily bang you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, well, name's Dave. Okay, good, good, good start. You're forthcoming with your name. What else you got? I'm a real go-getter. Boom! As the show unfolds, Todd, a compulsive liar, something which I can relate to, mismanages his way into and out of a set of increasingly ludicrous situations. His inability to control his impulses and his surroundings makes him a continuous punching bag, which is played straight by David Cross. Are, are you here for the tour? Man. Everything on this show revolves around Cross's pathetic Todd Margaret, and Cross, a reliable comedic actor at this point in his career, pulls off the endearing traits that help make Todd lovable despite his inability to accomplish anything and his dickish characteristics. Todd's character arc isn't particularly deep, but it does take some surprising twists as the fate of his character, Arnett's, Harrison's, and a certain actor from a famous AMC show collide in an unexpected fashion. Cross is great as Todd Margaret, but it's truly Will Arnett who shines as the incredibly profane Brent Wilts. Brent is initially a basic character, but revelations as the show progresses reveals an intriguing mystery. Arnett's performance here is different from his usual idiot asshole. Don't get me wrong, he's still very much an asshole here, but with more nuanced dialogue along with character development in the second season, it gives Arnett deeper material to play with than he normally has. Identification, it's actually a big turn on in life. Holy I just fell asleep and I had this nightmare that you were talking to me about really boring Oh, it's happening! Poor decisions predictably finds humor contradicting American and British lifestyles as Todd's misunderstandings about British culture and his inability to act properly around others creates plenty of cringe humor. I'm not a rapist or a racist or a racist rapist, but I do think you are cute. Boom, boom. Just like British humor, cringe humor is not for everyone, reinforcing that Todd Margaret is not a show for everyone. Otherwise, the show finds humor in Todd's increasing depravity, deceptive marketing practices, self-help audiobooks, and helpless romantics. The show is very much serialized, with each episode building off the already introduced story elements. Over the course of 12 episodes across the show's first two seasons, we see Todd's attempt to sell an energy drink in the UK, and the show's scope grows into something much grander as we learn who is pulling the strings behind Todd's life. Listen to me, you silly little prick! I make one phone call, and I'll have you selling rotten bananas in a Kazakhstan bus depot! Ugh, I can't do this. Repeat after me. 
If you're looking for a short, dark comedy with a couple players from Arrested Development, look no further than Todd and Margaret. With only 12 episodes so far, it's a very short time commitment and both seasons can be found on Netflix. The third season, like I said, is currently airing on IFC. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let's have a conversation in the comments, like the video, subscribe and stay tuned for more here on TV Junkie.